Well, here we are at the Cathedral Quarter Hotel in Derby for the launch of the Derby Evening Telegraph Business Awards 2014. Really looking forward to meeting up with those shortlisted finalists and to hear about their story and to hear a bit more about what the Business Awards are all about. So I'm joined by Matt from Champions PLC, you're the managing director? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. And you're taking ownership for organising and promoting this great initiative in terms of the Derby Business Awards in conjunction with the Evening Telegraph. Yeah, very, it's, it's a great opportunity for us. Um, you know, we're an East Midlands based business um, and you know, we've just felt as though there was a huge amount of very successful, very talented entrepreneurs and businesses in the region um, and so we wanted to make sure that there was an opportunity for them to be fully, fully recognised. So um, it's great, great partnership we've got with Telegraph, um, very much the sort of um, heart and soul of, uh, of Derby and it's great to be able to, to work with and support um, some great, great uh, businesses from the sponsorship perspective. Um, where they're really giving back to the community, uh, supporting those that are coming through from grassroots and those successful businesses coming through, and the, the level of entries has been unbelievable. So it just shows how vibrant Derby is. Yeah, I understand you've had an unbelievable exit. How many, how many people have entered these? Uh, over 200. And, wow. and um, you know, for, for in them to be the very first year, and to get that sort of interest um, and enthusiasm from the, from the whole uh, the whole city has been superb. So uh, city and county. So. Um, you know, uh, we know from previous experience it's just going to grow and grow and uh, I think, as I said before, it really does show the strength of, of Derby as a business community. Mm -hmm. Guys, what, what category have you been shortlisted for? We're going to the uh, Small Business Award and the Export and the International Trade Award. Wow. What was that, two or three? Uh, two awards. Two awards, yeah. yeah. So shortlisted down to the uh, final three on both of them. Good. Which is really exciting for us. Yeah, and what do you do? What, what's, what's how is it all about? What you... We've got two two main uh, end products. The Dennis and Sisis are our two main uh, um, brands that we design, manufacture, and sell out of Kirkland. That's sports ground equipment that we export to the whole world for natural and synthetic support services. So that's why you're in the exporting award. You're expecting yep. all around the world. Yeah. And you've got some big news coming up in the next few weeks in yep. terms of where you're going. Yeah, well, they're going to be seen. Yeah, they're going to be uh, from the the 12th of June. Uh, the world will be seeing them on the uh, all the pitches, all the stadia in the uh, World Cup in Brazil, uh, and uh, they'll be cutting all the training grounds as well. So, uh, wow. so yeah, so people all over the world will be seeing the Dennis Stripes. It's interesting, isn't it? That again, it's a great measure of business awards for businesses to be able to pit themselves against one another, and you know, to, to really see it, where they stand and, and celebrate success if they are ultimately victorious. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, highlighting some of these firms and their achievements, and there's some fantastic stories and some great innovation that's kind of coming out as, as, a, as a result of this, will inspire others to, to, to do similar, and certainly inspire others to kind of tell their stories. You know, even, even somebody like myself, who's been involved in the media in Derby for, for a number of years, is hearing about companies and, and learning about innovation in the city that they have no idea existed. And there's some fantastic, fantastic things going on with the business community that it's great that we can now shine a light on.